Hello everybody, this is a update on the high powered PEMF uh, switch update that extends the two rotary switches uh, from six positions to a possible 18 uh, configuration positions each. And I'll explain that at the top of this PDF, which can also be found on the uh, high powered PEMF uh, website page. Uh, a brief description of the switch setting, um, just defining that there's two toggle switches, three position toggle switches that have been added. Um, the three positions are click to the left, put in the middle, or put to the right. And the orientation is strictly how it's mounted in front of you. Rotate it 180 degrees if it doesn't conform um, to how I present this video when I say push the switch to the left. Um, you turn the speed setting of the um, controls for the PEMF into um, 18 possible positions. When it's on the left, uh, the speed settings are right here where I'm pointing to right now. Um, if I can point properly. Okay, I think we got it. Point. Uh, one hertz or position one is uh, 1.53 hertz and jumping down to the position number six it's six hertz on the time um, uh, rot rotary switch there's also a corresponding time uh, toggle switch when that toggle switch is in the left position um, your times are one minute two minute down you can see uh, progressing down to 30 minutes but when it's in the left position, there's a repeat uh, sequence initiated on that time setting. And what that means is, is that, uh, let's just take uh, the very top example. Uh, let's say we have the speed setting for 1.53 hertz and we have the um, time setting for one minute. It'll run for one minute and then it will pause for 10 or rest for 10 minutes and then it'll run for a minute again. It'll pre repeat that four times. So that's what I'm trying to say here in this chart. Um, okay, moving on. Let's go to the middle position. The middle position is the original setting of the original PEMF uh, switch configuration. In other words, it didn't have two toggles. Um, and you only had a random selecting uh, speed and you had uh, one, two, three, four, five hertz, and you had these uh, time uh, options. Run it for a minute, two minutes, five, all the way down to 30 minutes. And when it's in the middle position, there was no repeat option. It would run when it finished, it finished. That's the end of it. Um, so if you use the time switch uh, and you have the toggle uh, put to the middle position, middle position, um, you will have this functionality exactly like the original PEMF was. Let's move this up so we can see the other, the last setting. So if the toggle switches to the right position, speed options are 6.7 all the way up to 14.7. Uh, so notice on this left hand column you go for 1.53 all the way up to 14.7 depending on whether the toggle switch is set to the the left or the right, uh, and that's the speed toggle switch. So if you're not sure which one it is, uh, put the toggle switch in the middle and um, move it only one of those toggle switches to the left and press the start button and you'll you'll start to see what's cooking. Um, and try it uh, with a coil connected of course so you can see it. Or you don't have to have a coil connected, you can just watch the blinking LED. It gives you an indication of uh, what's going on too. If your brain is fast enough to follow the, the blinking, you certainly can't tell how many times it's blinking when it's set to 14.7. But you can see how many times it's blinking when it's set to uh, a real low number. One and a half, or anything over here you can see it's set for, you can set it as low as one. And when it's in random, you can definitely hear random. Uh, you can hear the different uh, speed changes going on coming up randomly. So um, the middle position uh, is like I said the old normal position and now let's get back over here to the uh, 
when the switch when the toggle switches are set to the right you can see you can jump go from 6.67 to 14.7 now on the time setting if you look directly above when the switch was to the left you could do an automatic repeat function four times um, but when you switch it to the left, it left excuse me get my left and right mixed up when you switch it to the right you get a repeat sequence of eight times with the appropriate pause uh, rest periods in between before it repeats and these time settings um, one two and five you can see they're just copies of the original one two five ten twenty and thirty minute but now you have this repeat capability depending on where the toggle switch is at something very important to note here 7.57 is the fastest speed you can go with the capacitors being the capacitor being charged to 160 volts where it will actually have time to initiate five charge time cycles and get that voltage all the way up to 160. when you go to 8.62 hertz with the toggle switch set to the right um, you're only going to have time to get four um, charge times uh, or cycles and in the capacitor will only charge to about 120 volts and you can see the progression here when you get up to 14.7 Hertz um, you only have time to charge the cap approximately uh, to 6 volts one charge time uh, to be able to do 14.7 uh, Hertz within uh, one second that's uh that's still significant although the power is less you're getting consistent pulses and the PEMF can be extremely effective uh, at this rate. Uh, you don't always go for pain. Sometimes you go for healing. And healing doesn't need necessarily as strong a pulse as uh, the pain does. And what the healing does is, is that it helps the uh, mitochondria um, increase its voltage level. Uh, there's a book by uh, Robert Becker, Dr. Robert Becker, that's called uh, Voltage is Healing and he explains very clearly um, uh, what needs to go on in the cell for it to um, have a, a, a healthy condition to be in a healthy condition or to be in a repairing condition and you need to have a little charge in the mitochondria on the organelles organelles are the organs inside this uh, the mitochondria structure okay so hopefully this is reasonably clear um, I think the easiest way to acclimate yourself to the functionality is to try it uh, when you have the PEMF up and running it's play around with the switches um, and make sure and then you can create your own labels uh, whether you have it mounted in a box or whether you have this piece of paper handy or whatever uh, you can create your own labels and find what the switches are doing for you there there's uh, two switches a rotary switch and a toggle switch dedicated to speed and there is a uh, rotary switch and a toggle switch uh, dedicated to time so with that I hope this video communicates well enough to uh, help you out and um, thank you uh, have yourself a real nice day now